Now with fish food, the two big enemies is oxygen and wet fingers. So it's really important that once you use your food, you need to make sure it's properly shut because you don't want oxygen getting in it all the time. Otherwise the oxygen will oxidize all the vitamins in the food and make the food um, stale. The other thing is wet fingers. Because if you've got a jar or something and you've <coughs> fed your fish and then you go to feed more fish and you put moisture into that jar, then the moisture in the jar, particularly once you shut the jar, um, is going to end up through the food, often on an almost microscopic level, you'll start growing fungus and mold and crap through the food. And then you'll find that what happens is the fish, you'll feed the food to the fish, even if the food sort of looks okay to you, and then the fish grab it and spit it out because they want it because they're hungry, but the fungus or the mold may actually be potentially poisonous or just um, make the taste bad. So they'll grab it and spit it out. So making sure that your food is always shut is really important and making sure that your fingers are completely dry when you feed the food is a very good idea. And the other thing is be careful with the bulk foods because if you buy bulk food, you gotta make sure that the lid is shut all the time and you don't wanna keep opening the lid all the time because by the time you get to the bottom of the food, which might take you a couple of years, you'll find the food at the bottom is pretty well stale. So what you're better off doing is if you're gonna buy that food, you're probably better off buying a little jar as well and then every month or so you can open that up, fill that up, and then shut that again. And you keep that one shut, and you use the little jar day to day, and that will um, ensure that your food doesn't go stale.